First, right now, President-elect Joe Biden speaking about his coronavirus task force. He announced information about it earlier today, including the names of the people who will be on it. Skylar Henry has more details from the White House. President-elect Joe Biden is getting a briefing from his newly named coronavirus task force. The president-elect says he plans to urge every state governor to implement a mask mandate to save lives. And he praised news Pfizer's vaccine candidate has been successful and is on pace for approval by the end of the month. But he cautioned, even if that is achieved and some Americans are vaccinated later this year, it will be many more months before there is widespread vaccination in this country. CBS News has learned the Biden administration will have a series of executive orders ready to sign on day one. The orders are expected to rescind a travel ban on several Muslim-majority countries, reinstate the DACA program, and rejoin the World Health Organization and Paris Climate Agreement. However, the government agency that helps start the formal transition process has yet to sign the letter needed to provide office space and funding. GSA Administrator Emily Murphy, a President Trump appointee, says the election has not yet been decided. President Trump is currently not planning to concede the race. He is mounting challenges in the courts and the court of public opinion. CBS News has confirmed the Trump campaign plans to file more lawsuits. The president plans to publish obituaries for people who allegedly voted but are dead and hold campaign-style rallies to make his case to supporters. They've been losing every case that has been brought post-election, the Trump campaign has. Mm -hmm. And so it does appear it might be more of a PR stunt than it is an actual cohesive legal theory. Supporters held rallies this weekend, claiming the election is being stolen from President Trump. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. CBS News has learned Trump campaign staffers manning their voter fraud hotline are now being deluged with prank calls.